Hey guys, VBad here with another V plays, and somebody asked if I could take out the P38 Lightning, and good news, this is one of my favorite planes in the game. Uh, I've always loved the P38, I've loved the look of it, I loved the concept of this twin engine with kind of like a pod in the middle and all the guns centrally located as a kid it always bugged me mechanically that they weren't located in the middle that the guns were located on the wings and not the middle of the airframe on a lot of aircraft or that they even shot through the repellers or that irked me as well so we're taking out the p38j this is the first battle i have in this thing specialized so the thing is pretty decked out and i'll fully admit that there's some capabilities coming off of this thing that you're not typically going to see on most aircraft uh, but i'm also flying it with air to ground munitions which i typically don't do but it just looks so nasty look at this 10 of those five inch rockets and two 500 pound bombs just can't go wrong with that in fact we're going to go ahead and dip the nose and do a quick ordnance drop here probably a bit of overkill here and we're going to use this speed momentum to come up from underneath here and go after this Spitfire. That was a definite ram on our part. We'd managed to capture the zone. We're not feeling good right now, guys, not going to lie. We're definitely hurt, but we are way more maneuverable than any of the other heavies at this tier. So we're going to play that to our advantage. The enemy bow fighters up here. Bow fighter, since we reviewed that recently, you all note that it doesn't have the best speed or altitude performance but we definitely have some good speed available to us and good altitude performance which allows us to be able to get these guns on target and just look at us chunking away with that big 37 millimeter cannon and then also the 450 cal machine guns we have gone with the gas operated action on this and we've actually rolled for the increased cooldown rate we've got our ally here helping us out with the pe2 which is awesome should be able to finish it just fine without my help the sc100 is a very strong airframe i'm gonna go ahead and let these engines cool down just a little bit come on my a key is being weird again i'm gonna have to clean out the keyboard real soon but we're gonna get our altitude back build up some more power in the piggy bank if you would I'm going to go ahead and hit that cooldown. I actually, I forgot that I had that as something that was available on this airframe. Let's go after the bomber. Ooh, it's a player in a bomber. He's got some good hit points and solid guns, but we managed to take him out here. What's our next target? We got a Yak-7 down here and a... Yep, they're both gone. It was an F4F, F, by the way. You can see we're getting up to some pretty stellar speeds here. And I was hoping for a repair, but I just realized they took it out. Let's go ahead and wait our six seconds. We'll hopefully get this back. Because I really need some health. Trying to get an F2 off here. There we go. That's enough health. If we can maintain that center zone, that'll do pretty well for us. Our ordinance is coming back up soon. I really like this plane. For the, even at tier five, the P-38 is a very maneuverable heavy which means that it's very forgiving for a lot of newer pilots to start flying heavies with this airframe which is probably why i like flying heavy so much i started with this and i just had such a good time with it the maneuverability is just on par with some of the less maneuverable multi-rolls but then combining the altitude and speed performance you have a really good capability to get a lot of damage out very quickly there we go. We're able to stick to those targets, which is what I like most. We'll let Widow kill that target. No sense in stealing that from him. I'm 
if you can get the 37 to hit, it's pretty good, but it's not as much of a necessity because the 50s can do a bit of damage as well. We're more of a sustained damage type of aircraft, which makes flying as a boom and zoom a little bit more difficult because we're much better when we settled in on a target. We're probably much better at being a counter, well, being a, more of a counter heavy, if you would, as well as going after some of the beefier targets like the bombers, like we just did, as well as whoop, the ground attackers. But since we can stick on these heavies, the 410 doesn't have a chance of outmaneuvering us, and he's gonna have a tough time outpacing us. And then going up against something like this B-17G with the enduring firepower we can put out, we can pretty much tear him up. And we're able to stick on him pretty easily. Oh, we just got grade 2. I'm happy with that. I don't need to finish that. We'll leave that to our allies. Get some altitude here. Is that the player? That's important. Would like to know. Ooh, it's a 110E coming back for some vengeance, maybe. Let's see if we can get some speed up here. Bring him back to our zone where we have a little bit more control. I think our bot heavies are going to finish this bomber off, but I would like to get a chance to do a little bit. Where are you at? Alright, they were taking a little bit long there. Otherwise engaged? Perfect. Don't you worry about me, what can I possibly do to you, sir? Looking for enemy aircraft here. It looks like we're pretty good. Oh. There's that BF 110E again. The heavy hunt is on. Got him. We have a GU 87 down here. Let's see if this will work. I'm interested. Nope, not enough splash damage on those rockets to be able to take them out. Sometimes you can make that happen. Slowing down to get the guns around. Knocked him out with a fire. We'll take it. maintain the speed if he wants to give chase so be it but he's about to get killed by our heavy nice that got us here with the sky badge and that also is synonymous with the grade one fighter it is squall line there's not much left around here actually probably could have ran this aircraft clean and done just fine but it's nice to be able to shoot off some ordnance every once in a while uh, if you take the bombs off you actually keep those nubs which that bugs me to no end, to be honest with you. But if you decide to take the rockets off, you don't get stuck with having the mounts on there. So for those of you who are into the aesthetics, because I know I am, that's pretty much game. Yeah, specialist or not, this aircraft has always done well for me. Usually I run it clean. Um, the guns definitely, oh, he's so mad. Uh, but yeah, the the guns are definitely cool enough, and I can use, I can keep them firing much longer without them overheating. But yeah, they work out just fine. Essentially, the P38 Lightnings are just very forgiving heavies. They allow you to be able to turn on targets. Now, don't confuse that with getting into like true dogfights. There's no reason for me to turn with a Spitfire or even a multi roll. So a lot of times it's gonna be 
up at higher altitude, it's going to be easier to get those guns onto the enemy. Uh, if you've ever noticed flying a heavy, like even in the ME410, you'll try and lock in on a target and you'll kind of overshoot it like that time we came up underneath the b-17 in this battle we came up underneath the b-17 and we were able to just cycle in right onto his tail from almost a 90 degree turn and we were able to keep the guns on him the whole time but in an me-410 in that type of a climb would most likely go up and over would lose its shots as it would actually kind of go too high and then it would have to bring itself back down to get the guns back on target exposing it to more tail gunner fire p38j was totally fine with being able to come up and stay right on target and lock in that much easier now don't confuse maneuverability and handling in that concept with dog fighting with like a mustang that's never going to work out in your favor what you can possibly do is nose over and get yourself up to higher airspeed and that's when you're really going to be able to hammer down the throttle and be able to get away from the enemy uh, we have specialized this i've painted it up to to be my nasty mean shark plane with the universal camo the universal camo and this green i think looks really mean this is the p38 i always knew and loved as a kid now, this missile configuration, or rocket I should say, the rocket configuration looks way better, I think, than the ones that look like the triple tubes that are glued on to the P-38 previous to this. What P-38 is that anyways? Forget what the, the F. The F is still a good plane, but the J, I just really like the J. It really started to, really started to sink with me. I got to the P-38J and I was like, man, I really thought the P-38 was going to be a great plane. And one of my friends told me, hey, V, did you get the 37 millimeter cannon? And I said, well, well, no, I, I, I didn't get it. I was just having such a tough time. I just wanted to get out of the plane as quick as possible. To which he replied, put the 37 millimeter on your plane and trust me, it'll be way better. Yeah, I'm looking at the J right now. The J would start with a 20 millimeter cannon, then upgrade to a 23 millimeter cannon, and then from the 23 you get a 37. It feels like a downgrade at first when you get this aircraft coming off of the P-38F, but again, get the 37 and the aircraft will be far better as you continue to grind through it. Uh, highly recommended that you take the time and the effort to get that. Uh, I think you'll find that you have a much better time. And with all of these heavy aircraft, what I usually advertise is get the guns because you need the boom. Otherwise, you're not much of a boom and zoom platform. Then get the engines. And then once you've gotten the engines, then you can play around with the air to ground ordinance. Because if you try to play around with the air to ground ordinance, one, you're going to put yourself in situations where you're going to want to use the air to ground ordinance. And you're going to put yourself in, in dangerous situations against low altitude turn fighters. There's a lot more aircraft that can kill you down there. And by the way you're also hurting your overall acceleration air speed of your airframe so your ability to get out of danger is also lost so you're going to put yourself in danger and you're not going to be able to get out of it so do yourself a favor and strip the aircraft clean i think you'll find that you have a much better time with it then start introducing those munitions back on slowly but surely and you even saw there wasn't much use of them anyways we barely used them in this match at all it helps to be able to flip a zone initially but the reload time on these is really long 180 seconds is that's a pretty decent amount of time so what are you really going to be doing for the next minute and a half you're not going to be flipping any zones we were able to capture the missile facility or the mill facility in the middle then we went to the heavy airfield and then from the heavier then from the the heavy airfield or the air base then we made it back to the mill base and then the munitions came back after we killed a couple of aircraft so with the speed this aircraft can go the ability to traverse the battlefield you're going to feel like these bombs and rockets never come back anyways so don't don't waste the time with them if you want to play with them later like i am go for it but what a beautiful looking aircraft, right? It's just such a solid platform. And this was actually known for being one of the better long range escorts. And they experimented with bringing these over to the European theater after they had done so well in the Pacific theater. But by that time, the Mustang had come online and there was just no need to bring the P-38s over.
Anyways, I digress. Enough histor historics. Hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I enjoyed making it and flying this aircraft. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one.